Hi, welcome to the Eastern Townships School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to be looking at how to create your profile in Moodle, part of the Introduction to Technologies course. So without further ado, let's go to a browser. Now in here, I've already logged into Moodle, and you can see my name up here. And if I click here, I'll have the user drop down menu, which allows me to edit my profile, as well as view my profile, which I'll talk about later. So let's start with editing our profile. Now in here we've got a few tabs. You've got general, user picture, additional names, interest, and optional. I'm going to drag up here and click the expand all button. Now this will open up and show the content for additional names, interest, and optional. So going back up, under general you've got all your information which has already been filled in when you first registered to this website. There's one additional one, email display. Very important. By default, your email will be available to all the students in your class. If you don't want that, there are three choices. You can allow everybody to see your email address in Moodle, including all the other students from all the different classes, or you can hide your email address from everyone except non-privileged users. So privileged users are teachers and the admin staff of the website. So I'm just going to leave it on the default. Now, over here, we've got the description field, which allows us to put a little bio about ourselves. It might not show up on yours, so I'll show you how to get it later. I'm not going to fill it in. I'm just going to show you how to see it later on. Underneath user picture, it allows you to put a picture of yourself. We highly recommend it so that teachers can at least put a face to a name when we are not sure who you are. So you can drag and drop files in here, or you can click that little green button here and upload a file, which I'm going to do by clicking on the Browse button. I'm going to pick a file here, open it up, and you can see here it's confirmed that it has loaded it. However, I'm not seeing it until I click on the Upload This File button, at which point it will show up right here. Now, I can put a little description, so I'm just going to put my name here. If I could spell it correctly. Now, additional name allows you to put a phonetic version of your name. If it's a hard name to pronounce for people here, you can put as well a middle name and a nickname. I'm going to put my artist name here. And since I'm a musician, I can, I'm going to put my interest here. Now, interest allows other students to know what your interests are, if they are interested in learning more from you. I'm just going to put another one, just so we have two in here. Now, I'll show you later on why they show up. Under optional, we've got quite a few different things. I've got an artist website, so I'm just going to put it in here. So if you want people to um, to find you online, you can put ID numbers if you have Yahoo or Skype. If you are part of an institution, a certain department, phone number, mobile phone, and address. That's important to know that everything you put in here will be accessible for everyone on the site. So just put the information that you want to share. When you're done, click on the Update Profile, not the Cancel button. Now, doing so will take us to the preferences, which is an odd thing, but let's go back to our profile here. So on the user drop down menu, I'm going to select view profile in order to see it. So you can see here, this is what people will see. They'll see your name, they'll see your email address if you've allowed it. You can send messages, you can see a bit of a description about myself, which I haven't filled, and my interest. Now, if you didn't see under edit profile, the description, you'll find this one, strangely enough, under View Profile. So I'm going to back, go back here. We've got three tabs, About Me, More, and Editing Your Profile. Now you can see here the description is here. So I'm just going to type in, or paste in this case, a little bio. Now in here you can also insert pictures, videos, record an audio of yourself, record a video of yourself, and very importantly, you can upload a file here, which is great because it can allow you to put your resume, for example, so people can have access to your resume. Now, at the bottom here, I'm just going to update my profile so that this new information will show up. So now I've got a little bit of description about myself. So when people go to your name, they'll actually see this. Under more, there's quite a few things in here that are important, which we'll look at in a different module. So that's it for now.